How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink here, and in this episode of Scantober, I'm gonna show you how I took a 3D scan of a tree and converted it into this tool holder. The inspiration for this project came from the site 3D With Us, and they made a lot of cool projects involving 3D printed tree scans, so I wanted to set out and do one of my own. There's a nature preserve not too far from my house, so my girlfriend and I went down and found some trees that we thought would be suitable for scanning. This one in particular worked really well, and I got a full 360 degree view with all the pictures being high resolution and evenly lit. I think it's a pine tree, but I'm not totally positive. Of all the trees that I scanned that day, this one was by far the cleanest. So you can see here in Metashape, we're looking through those pictures and they're all pretty well aligned as it is. So within Metashape, the first step is to align all the photos and create a tie point sparse cloud. This gives us all of the alignment dots that we're going to use to create a dense structure, which we're then going to turn into a mesh. Converting this into a dense cloud worked really well, and you can see here the model looks fantastic. When we zoom in for more detail, you'll notice this isn't a mesh, so there's no triangles here. These are all just colored vertices. So we can zoom in really carefully and notice these are just colored dots. There's no real solid object here. And that's okay for this step of the process. What we're really trying to find out is, will this be a good suitable model for 3D printing or for converting it into a mesh? So I can zoom in pretty close here and see all of the dots, meaning there's a lot of detail captured and there aren't a lot of really big holes. So I think this is a pretty good candidate for converting to a mesh. And as it turns out, I was right. This is what the 3D mesh looks like, and it worked really well. It captured a ton of detail, and you can see on the outer surfaces that there's a high level of complexity here. Even when we go into single color mode, which just shows us the raw mesh, we can see we captured a lot of this tree. The first thing I did to the mesh after bringing it into Mesh Mixer was adding a plane cut to the bottom and top of the model. This gave it a flat surface and also turned it into a solid mesh. Before, it was just a surface and didn't really have any volume, but now having added that plane cut, we have a solid mesh that we can edit. So because we're making a tool holder, we need to hollow out the inside of this tree trunk so we can make room for our tools. I'm going to use the cylinder in Mesh Mixer, and using the Mesh Mix functionality, I'm going to position it so it's on the inside of the tree trunk, and then I'm going to use a boolean command to subtract the difference. Once everything is in place and the cylinder is oriented correctly and aligned, I can use that boolean command to create that hole. And now we have a model that's ready for printing. We've retained all the texture on the exterior of the model, and on the inside, we've actually got kind of a cool low poly effect from that boolean command. So it's a little bit textured, I kind of like the way it looks, so now we're ready to take it into Prusa Slicer. I'm printing this model out on my ANET ET5X, so I'll select that in Prusa Slicer, and then we're going to go ahead and slice this geometry for our 3D printer. Once the slicing is complete, we can take a look at the outer surface and notice the tool pathing is very complex, and that's going to give us that highly complicated surface that we're looking for. Everything looks good to me, so now the last step is to send the print right to the printer. And that leaves us with our finished tree trunk tool holder. The outer surface looks really good, and exporting the high-resolution mesh from Metashape gave us a really clean-looking model. Overall, I'm really happy with how this looks and works, and I think it's a really fun project if you're interested in 3D scanning. For more 3D scanning videos, you can check out the Scantober playlist, and as always, thanks for watching, and have fun scanning!